Hello everyone, I want to say welcome. I'm Dr. Mandel. Today we're going to touch on something extremely important. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I want to say hello to everyone out there. Uh, today's topic is going to be about diabetes, pre-diabetes, uh, increase sugar in our blood, which leads to many different types of cardiovascular diseases, as well as many types of uh, diseases period throughout the body because the formation of increased cholesterol, increased tri triglycerides. Uh, we're going to be touching upon something about cinnamon. Uh, it is a miracle spice. I want to bring out uh, and mention that the uh, people out there, JAMA, came out with a study. They published something. They say about 50% of adults living in the United States have uh, diabetes or pre-diabetes. Now, let's explain what pre-diabetes is. Pre-diabetes pre basically means you don't have diabetes, although that you're uh, becoming insulin resistance, meaning that when you are eating lots of sugar, um, what's happening is the glucose that's being secreted from the pancreas is not allowing the sugar to be assimilated into the cells. So when they're not being assimilated into the cells, you start getting a buildup of sugar and therefore you start to have pre-diabetes. Now, diabetes basically goes by numbers, and it, but if your, your numbers are not so high, but they're staying higher than what we call normal or high normal, then you are what they say pre-diabetic. So, I want to bring out uh, something that's extremely important when we talk about this because uh, with our uh, diet, the way that we exercise, which many of us don't, uh, our poor eating habits, the way we're eating certain types of foods and the quantity of food, uh, this can cause significant problems with us uh, affecting our insulin levels. Obviously, when the pancreas starts to become overtaxed, the pancreas doesn't function, and that leads to diabetes. Now, diabetes is important to understand because as you start building up extra sugar, that sugar turns into triglycerides, and those glycerides start forming and placking in the arteries, and it starts to grow and starts to clump. Uh, usually, people who are, who are diabetic have a higher tendency to have higher cholesterol levels, which, which brings in more sticky stuff into the, intest into the uh, vessels. So our purpose here is to bring out a very uh, miraculous spice, and many people have heard about this, but I will go into depth in this so you can understand a little bit about it and understand that you're doing it correctly. So my job here is to not only educate you, but hopefully give you a, a better, thorough understanding that you're doing it correctly. Uh, let's just talk a little bit about uh, these particular cinnamon things. But before I go into that, let me just talk. There are several studies out there, but there's one particular study I want to bring out. It's 2012. Uh, this was uh, in China. They took uh, uh, this particular, this research here. They noticed that what they did is they took 69 Chinese patients with type 2 diabetes or blood glucose levels above recommended targets or the A1Cs over 7%. Uh, excuse me. The, the A1Cs um, primarily means that what your, what your sugar has been at level of two to the last two to three months. So when they look at your A1C level, you're looking, they're looking to see how much or how high your, your, your cells are carrying sugar over the last couple of months. It gives doctors a better awareness of what you've been doing before just doing a routine blood work. But what, they, what the research did was they, they put it into three groups. They uh, took one group, 120 milligrams of cinnamon a day before breakfast. A high dose group took 360 milligrams. And the other group was a placebo group, which they gave nothing. Uh, they were taking their uh, medication and they added this particular spice. And they noticed that the placebo group had no results. And both groups that took the cinnamon had significant lower sugar levels. Not only that, the A1C levels came down. Not only that, but they've also noticed that this can also affect cholesterol. So uh, there are significant studies, and I don't want to really bore you going through all the studies because I really did a lot of homework. 
uh, that this will lower uh, LDLs, your low density lipoproteins. This will lower total cholesterol and it will lower triglycerides. Now that is pretty powerful. If you can get something that can lower it, that is like a miracle. Now I know this works because I have many uh, doctor friends who have uh, actually taught me a lot. Uh, I have a very close nutrition friend who's a uh, who does a lot of traveling. I have uh, significant close friends who have uh, family who have diabetes. Uh, and many of these people have responded very well to cinnamon. Now, I want to explain that when you take cinnamon, which I'm going to explain to you how to take it, um, I want you to make sure that if you are taking medication, oral medication, or you're taking insulin, you need to communicate with your doctor. Okay, so let me just go into this. This is very important. People are saying, well, what, what do I take? How much of this stuff do I take? What is it all about? Uh, what kind of cinnamon? There are two kinds of cinnamons. The two kinds of cinnamons, cinnamons are the cassia cinnamon and the Ceylon cinnamon. The cassia cinnamon uh, comes from, uh, I'm going to go in there, from southern China. And it's also known as Chinese cinnamon. And this particular cinnamon is a lower quality, okay? It's more of a cheaper quality. Uh, this cinnamon, you may find this more in supermarkets. Uh, this has been used roughly for cooking and doing things at home, giving a little spice. The bottom line is this cassia cinnamon is the most common variety. Uh, but I just want to bring out that the important thing is it has a high... Uh, uh, coumarin content. So if you look at this, the high coumarin content basically means that if you have any type of liver, kidney, or problems going on, this can irritate livers. Uh, if you have uh, liver problems, I recommend you speak with your doctors uh, before you do anything. But this is not the one I'm going to recommend. I just have to let you know that Taking this in high doses can affect uh, your liver, and there has been uh, side effects on that. Let's talk about the the Ceylon, the the Ceylon uh, uh, cinnamon. Uh, this is a true cinnamon. This is in uh, Sri Sri Lanka and southern parts of India. Uh, many of our uh, chat room right now who live in India will understand this, and this is a tan brown color. Uh, this is less common and has been long prized as a cooking spice. It's quite more expensive, but the bottom line is it's high quality and it has a milder flavor. Now, I want to bring out, because I'm going to kind of skip things to move things quick. As I talked about the, the coumarin, uh, this can be very toxic in humans, particularly kidney, liver, and lung. Uh, but we are not going to recommend this to you, all right? So the bottom line is that the Ceylon uh, cinnamon is the number one choice, and I'm going to go over and share a few important things with you uh, right about now. So understand that we're talking about uh, how much of this can you, can you take. Uh, well, I'm going to go over that with you right now. I'm going to go over some important things uh, with you. Let me just pull this up. Let me just show you a few things here while I'm on the topic to show you a little bit of what it looks like. These are things you can get off Amazon, the Ceylon uh, cinnamon. If you notice, it says 1,200 milligrams in this bottle. These are two capsules. They generally come in 500 or 600 milligrams. Uh, if you look here, uh, this is a, by the way, Carlson is one of the greatest omega-3 companies. So I put them up there because I'm sure all their stuff is notice on the bottle helps maintain normal blood glucose levels. Okay. You'll see that in mostly all the stuff on this one supports heart health, supports lower cholesterol, supports blood sugar management. Look at what they're saying here, because this is the research and people, I want you to know one thing that we have to have the best quality. Now, if you look at this, this is a grater. And I'm going to tell you that uh, from the method, one of the best ways to get the best uh, quality of this particular uh, miracle spice is to grate it yourself. So if you have good quality, uh, 
Uh, sticks, cinnamon sticks, and you can do it yourself. Excellent. Most people may not be able to do that, but I'm going to show you a couple of things. Here's a cinnamon powder, uh, freshly grounded. Looks like a great powder. You can get this on Amazon or other companies. You can search it on the internet. If you have the powder and pertaining to how much you should take, uh, they recommend a little more than a teaspoon. Uh, four grams is one teaspoon. They say no more than six grams. So uh, you can split that up throughout the day or pertaining to the capsules, uh, you have to base that on the quality that you're getting. But the average is one to two capsules, which is five to 600 milligrams. Uh, they talk about the cinnamon sticks. They say about one stick per day. I actually want to bring out something that's interesting here. One second. Another very uh, important way, they say that you can take it as a tea. A lot of people may notice that they have teas that have the cinnamon tea in it. If you notice, it has the Ceylon cinnamon uh, already, the, C, the tea bag in there already the way it is. They add a little ginger to it, very healthy for you. Uh, that is another way of taking this. Um, they say you can use it into a black tea. Uh, you can uh, use the cinnamon bark oil and you can actually put drops, uh, one to three drops. Uh, there are many different ways of using this, and I'm not really going to go into all the different ways. You can actually Google this, but I think the most common way is the cinnamon sticks by grating it, getting fresh powder, or getting the fresh cinnamon powder already packaged, or getting the capsules. Now, if it was me, I'm a capsule guy. I don't like to sit there and make things all day. I'm not that traditional, uh, but I know that there are very good companies out there, and I recommend to, to review the reviews and find a good company and you can start adding that to your diet. Now remember, this will bring down bad cholesterol, it will bring down the LDLs, bring down triglycerides, uh, this will help you uh, bring down sugar levels, but I do recommend all of you to check with your doctors, particularly if you are on any kind of medication, and I also recommend to stay with the, the Ceylon uh, cinnamon, I think it's the safest, it's the most effective, and the studies that I have read are all with this particular cinnamon bark, which is a Ceylon cinnamon. I really hope that this gave you a little bit of understanding uh, pertaining to uh, this cinnamon type of thing. I think it's something that's really important. You know, there are people out there, uh, it's a major, major epidemic. Diabetes is just growing and growing and growing and growing. And it usually grows more with obesity. So the first thing I would tell everyone to do is don't just do the herbs that I tell you to do. Start losing the weight, drink lots of fluid, start getting exercise, start, start, start eating correctly, uh, start walking more uh, than taking the elevators and the escalators, uh, and start making it a thing of your life to really start taking good care of yourself. Watch those fried foods, those high uh, cholesterol, saturated fats. Watch those trans fatty foods. Uh, don't eat those big meals before you go to bed, uh, and just be aware what you're doing. Uh, and I really think that this will help you because I can tell you that you will maintain better sugar levels within your bloodstream by just losing weight and watching your diet. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. One of the best things that you can do is start adding in more fiber. Fiber slows that exchange of sugar that tries to get into the cells quickly. In other words, it slows that that fast glycemic index, as we'd say, if someone has a, a straight sugar and you take sugar and you have it with, with fiber, the fiber slows the metabolism down, which will not give you that big spike. So uh, use, these, use this information, do your research, still Google any questions you may have, leave your questions below. Um, I ask you to uh, subscribe, uh, to continue to receive uh, more of these videos. Uh, we're going to continue on our mission to give you the cutting edge of great nutrition. Again, check out my channel. I have many, many hundreds of videos on self-help pertaining to poor posture, forward head posture, herniated disc. I am a chiropractor, and most of my stuff is on um, musculoskeletal injuries. But I have a, a background in nutrition, so the last couple months we're really pushing out a whole lot of good cutting edge information, helping lots of people. Uh, you can reach me uh, on Facebook motivational doc. Again, I do go through many messages as well here on YouTube. Uh, I get so many of them, so I try to do my best, but please leave your messages below. There are so many thousands of people worldwide that like to listen to or read your message and respond. 
And please leave your messages below too, because I can learn from you as well. We're here as a team to try to put our mission together to help each other, because there is no one that knows all, especially in nutrition. So I want to say blessings to everyone out there. Thank you, chat room, for being here with me. Uh, thank you, India, China, uh, people out there among the world who follow me, who come out and listen and take the time to learn. I respect that very much. Share my videos on your social media. Uh, God bless to you and your family, and we'll catch up with you real soon. Bye-bye now.